We are underreacting, my friends, to how good of a draft this can be for the defensive side of the ball. And listen, I am guilty. I'm a fantasy football girl. I like it when there's a 100 points scored in every game, if possible. I love talking about the quarterbacks. So that's why we do need to take some time to acknowledge some of the special talent on the other side of the ball. Now, I'm a big Dale Jeremiah gal, so I used his rankings. All right, Bryce Young, fine. You've got B. John Robinson, fine. Four of his six top prospects are defensive players. What does that mean? It means that thanks to, you know, the the Black Friday-esque mad dash that we will see from teams at the top of the, you know, draft grabbing quarterbacks, the teams in need of defensive pieces, and I'm talking to you, Lions, I'm talking to you, Cardinals, Seahawks, very intriguing. I was listening to the Ringer NFL podcast. They're very intrigued by what the Seahawks are doing in this draft. And I'd say the Raiders. These are teams that need defense. You have the chance to go get some really great talent at a serious value. So I thought we could this morning start the day with taking uh, some time to introduce you to some of that top talent right now. So we're going to start with the guy. Consensus, top dog, edge rusher in this draft, Alabama's Will Anderson Jr. Okay, here's what you need to know. This is a menace when it comes to getting after the quarterback. He's racked up 27 and a half sacks, 48 tackles for loss, over his last two seasons at Bama while they're talking to Mac Jones about how to run the, the offense. Okay, he's racked up a pretty solid trophy case. Look at this, all right? Obscene collection of hardware, the national championship, multiple national defensive player of the year awards, the lot award in recognition of his character, and <gasps> this list even includes something that no one in the history of Alabama football has ever done. For a school that has 13 national championships, eight pro football Hall of Famers, 25 college football Hall of Famers, four Heisman winners, and turns up pro to pro to pro to pro to pro. <gasps> Anderson became the first, the first player in Bama history to be a consensus All-American in back-to-back -back seasons. Now, you sprinkle a little uh, 4 6 40 along with that production. There it is. Let me tell you, I ran the 40 this morning. It did not look like that. We'll get to that in a bit. And you have rave reviews about what kind of man he is. What kind of guy he'll be on a team in a locker room on a field representing the NFL Shield. And I don't think uh, there's any way, if you put all that in a blender, that you can spit out him making it past three if the Cardinals stay put. If they don't make a trade, if Arizona moves down, the Seahawks might scoop him up at five. I get that. But it's hard to see him falling any further than that. The next guy I want to talk about is Texas Tech edge rusher Tyree Wilson, okay? Now, Anderson, we just talked about, he, this is an explosive jump off the page guy. But Wilson's claim to fame, he's a mountain of a man. Look at how big he is out there. Unreal. So here's his measurements, right? 6'6", 271, and get this wingspan recorded at 86 inches. Okay. What does that really mean? Let's put it into perspective. That is longer than the average giraffe's neck, okay? Or the length of an entire buffalo. But to harken back to my day safariing in Africa over the summer, good luck trying to beat him to the punch as an O-line. Good luck. NFL, the, bring your best. Good luck. His frame, his strength, he's drawing comparisons to the guy that nobody gets compared to, J.J. Watt. And it's probably not a coincidence given Tyree admitted that he's modeling his game and has modeled his game after JJ while growing up in Henderson, Texas. So where do I see him? The ringer likes the Seahawks. I like the Seahawks. I could see him going to Seattle. He can bolster their front at five. Atlanta, they pick at eight. I could see that. Him, a veteran, and Calais Campbell. Imagine him absorbing via osmosis from Calais Campbell. Are you kidding me? How about Detroit? Aiden Hutchinson, want a friend? That would be scary to even think about. Finally, I want to talk about one of the top cornerback prospects in this draft, and it's Devin Witherspoon. He's out of Illinois. You need to know him. Listen, people, it's not all about the quarterbacks and the shiny pieces up top. No, this guy's going to change the complexion of an entire team and a defense. He didn't start playing football until his junior year of high school, late to the game, but quick learner. Figured it out. He earned consensus All-American honors this past season for the Illini, okay? Illini, I didn't get into their journalism program, so I'm not a big fan of that school, but I like him. He's the you know, not the biggest corner. We like a little guy. 5'11 and a half, buck 81, but he has made a reputation for himself as far as attitude and being a wrecking ball. He's gone viral multiple times. You're taking a look at right, right now. Oh my God, why is he so mad? Oh boy. That's the kind of stuff I want to see in the NFL. It's just true. He's laying out receivers and running backs and he's physical and that sort of thing goes a long way. 
And when you think physical corners, the first guy I think about is a guy who has a cat named Snowflake, and his name's Marlon Humphrey. Him and Denzel Ward, that's the sort of comparisons that he is drawing. We haven't seen a ton of corners go in the top five historically, and obviously Sauce came in last year and popped on the scene and is getting endorsements and getting all the love. Um, you know, and getting Sauce, I think, makes teams a little bit more likely to take a swing on a guy like Witherspoon. It all matters. And I've seen a lot of mock drafts have him in the five through eight range to either the Seahawks, I've seen it to the Lions, the Raiders, Raiders keep popping up, the Falcons, wherever he ends up opposing receivers, they got to be ready for some of those layoffs because that is some WWE George Kittle stuff if I've ever seen it. All right, we've got a big, big show coming up next. What if I told you we had an Olympic gold medalist coming up who runs faster than a, the, a, like a Prius over here? Unbelievable. And she's a Fashion Week mama and I wore flats today. Hi. Oh, how are you? Good. It's all right.